What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So Global is getting a massive update tonight and in this video I want to go over what us Global players can expect when this thing drops. So first things first, a huge shout out to Z-Hall on the Dokkan subreddit for putting all this information together into a neat and tidy package and making my life 1 million times easier. So thank you so much. But let's just jump right into this. First thing we're getting is this AGL hit who's going to be the tournament reward for the upcoming world tournament on global. So yeah, spoiler alert, we are getting another world tournament very very soon. And this guy like a lot of the past tournament rewards won't be amazing but he appears to be decent, you know he's solid. And he's a cool trophy to have for placing high in the world tournament so at least you have that. But this is what he does, his leader skill is AGL type skill plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50% and his super attack is time skip causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. His passive uh, Ace Fighter of Universe 6 attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack and also has a medium chance to stun the enemy as the first attacker in a turn. His links are Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighter, uh, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Warriors of Universe 6, and Shocking Speed. Not the best links, but not bad links either. So overall, he's going to be like an average card, a good sub for an extreme AGL team, but nothing more than that. I'm just waiting for the day, guys, that they release a really, really hype, really, really strong hit card. Because for how strong this guy is, how good he is in the show, his cards have been a little bit shafted, let's be honest. But <laughs> that's besides the point. We're going to move on to the next thing. And these are the cards for the upcoming LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. So this is the SR form they can pull from the friend summon pool and there's just gonna be like the LR androids and LR Hercule they're gonna be obtainable through friend summons with friend points so rip to everyone who spent all of their friend points on the friend summon banner during the three-year anniversary trying to pull for those Kai's um, you know I, Kai's are great grand Kai's are great but I'm actually a lot more excited for this card so I'm gonna actually do a live stream of me just doing friend summons with you guys and trying to get this trying to get this card and I don't know if you guys would even want to see something like that, but I think it'd be a lot of fun just to do a friend summons stream. And it doesn't really matter if we get shafted or don't get this card because it's just friend points at the end of the day. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that and I'll set it up. This is the SR card. Um, and they all look really cool, by the way. I think this card looks fantastic. This is the SSR form. This is the TUR form. And last but not least, boom! There is the LR card and it looks so sick, guys. Like. That is a really cool looking card. I'm not the most excited or the biggest fan of Great Saiyan Man, but gotta admit, that is a dope looking card right there. And as far as the abilities go, Leader Skill is Super Type Allies HP Attack and Defense plus 100% when the team includes all 5 Super Types. So basically like Tech, Vegito, Blue, but no key and only 100% as opposed to 120%. Um, the Super Attack is Burning Justice, I believe this is the uh, 18 plus key Super. Causes Mega Colossal damage to enemies and raises Super Class Allies attack by 30% for 2 turns. And the 12 key Super is Colossal damage with a chance to uh, seal the enemy. No, I think it's seal the enemy. Yeah, it's 100% chance to seal the enemy if they can be sealed. Which is gonna be kinda useless, kinda useful depending on what you're fighting. But for a lot of the newer events, the enemies actually can't be sealed anymore. So, you know, it's not, it's not that, that exciting to have that. Their passive is actually really, really good. So it's called Victory of Love and Justice, of course. Superclass allies keep plus 4 and defense plus 50%, as well as debuffing extreme class enemies by 70% defense. So overall, I think they can be pretty useful uh, as a support on a super class um, team led by, you know, Tech Vegito Blue, LR Vegito Blue, or the new Goku as well, which we'll talk about in a separate video very, very soon. Their links are not the best. But it is what it is. Uh, you got Infighter, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Shattering the Limit, Legendary Power, and Supreme Power. So that's the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 card. I'm very excited about it. I think they look fantastic. They're not like, you know, gonna be as good as summonable LRs, but you can't really expect that. So let's just go back to the news release here. Okay, so these are all the cards for the LR. All right. And we're also getting LR Tien and Chaozu for the first time on Global as well. And they are going to be um, basically a reward for, uh, what do you call it, local ranking. Yeah, so placing high in local rankings, you will get copies of this card. And they start out as this right here, this Tien. And then you can obviously awaken them with the medals you get from the World Tournament into the LR form eventually. And they are... Again, a free LR, so not going to be amazing, but another cool thing to have. And also, they are kind of viable, actually, to run on uh, the AGL, on a Super AGL team. So, 
you know, it, it, it's it's something. It's something. I, I'll take free cards. I'll take free LRs whenever. So I don't I don't really mind if they're not like fantastic. Not every free LR is going to be LR Vegito Blue, who is still probably still the best free to play card we've ever gotten so far. That's just my opinion. You know, if you guys agree or you don't agree. It's totally cool. I respect your opinions. Let's take a look at this card. All types, attack and defense plus 100%. All right. Uh, super super attack is strike of bond, causes mega colossal damage with a chance to stun the enemy. That would be the 18 key super. Passive is warriors of earth's metal. Um, attack plus 10,000 when H key when key is eight or more. Defense plus 10,000 when key is 11 or more. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10,000 when key is 14 or more. So if you're getting more than 14 key, they're actually getting a total of uh, 20,000 attack and 20,000 defense. So that's actually not bad. That's actually solid. So they're going to be doing a good amount of damage for you. Their passives are Crane School, Master and Pupil, Z Fighters, Dodon Ray, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, and Legendary Power. So at the very least, they have Shocking Speed and Shattering Limit, which means that they will be getting key from a good amount of units. Um, but the other ones are, are kind of, you know, very niche. Very, very, very niche uh, links, so you're not going to be activating those too much unless you purposely put units on that team to link with them. But that is the LRTN and Chiaotu card. I think they're fantastic, and I'm I'm quite excited. We also are getting a new SSR Int Tien, and I think he's just going to be part of the DB Saiga summons. Yeah, DB Saiga banner summons. So, you know, with those silver tickets and gold tickets that we get from completing the missions. So, this guy gives in types HP and attack. HP and attack plus 50% in types, I said, right? Um, his super attack is 4 Witches Technique. Causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense plus thir by 30% for 6 turns. Passive skill, double trouble. <laughs> high chance to launch up to 2 additional attacks, each which has a high chance to become a super attack. And links, Crane School, Master and People, In Fighter, Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. So, you know, <laughs> another fun card to have. Now, Number 8 is family, family Kamehameha EZAs are coming. So basically that would be the Goku, the Goten, and the Gohan. So for a lot of you who are waiting for this, it's going to be it's gonna be a good time. There's going to be a lot more content to do in the game. And uh, we're going to get a lot of free stuff from that as well. Moving on, new missions. Oh, by the way, before I forget, LR, Saiyaman 1 and 2 are coming on the 8th. Uh, oh, no, 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 not, not the 8th. On August 21st. I got those two numbers mixed up. August 21st at 2 a.m. I believe that's Eastern Standard Time. So that is when you will be able to summon them in your friend summon banner. New missions, new Purunga Wish campaign, guys. New Purunga Wishes for 250 million. Three weeks, nine wishes, another three set of wishes. As soon as your boy knows how to get these, how to get these, um, what do you call them? These, these balls, these dragon balls. I'm gonna make another video about it and you guys will be well informed. So stay tuned for that. But damn, yeah, I, I was not expecting more wishes this soon, but that's awesome. More orbs, more Kai's, more incredible gems, more training items, whatever you guys want. Um, returning events, we got three returning events. Easy A Kid Gohan returns on the 21st, which I don't really understand because we, we had it like really, really recently. So I don't know why they're returning again and not bringing back Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which I need. I need AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Easy A event to come back so that I can finish it finally. The first time I didn't have Angel Golden Frieza, so I couldn't complete it. And I'm just like, where is it? Why are you bring Easy A Kid Gohan back before that? But anyways, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. I'm getting distracted. Wrath of the Dragon story event coming back, and also missions for Easy Aing um, and SA 15 ing the family Kamehameha trio. This will give a lot of stones and some other rewards too, so make sure you guys get it done. Some new items one, 250 million tickets. So that's gonna be the tickets that we get for like every 50 stones we spent in the last year we'll get one ticket and that's going to be on the banner that I meant, talked about in my last video and um, this doesn't mean that the banner is dropping or the anniversary is starting on the 21st this just means that it's going to be an asset in the game and it will become active whenever the anniversary or not the anniversary the uh, celebration actually starts the update GSSR celebration ticket so these are going to be special tickets don't know how to obtain them at the minute but this does guarantee that the new summoning, anim summoning animations are coming to Global and they will be having a mini celebration for it as well and these tickets will be included so that's going to be awesome and having GSSR tickets means that we'll be able to see these new animations like the you know Super Vegito animation, the Boo on, uh, the, the Hercule on Boo, double screen crack, things like that so that's, that's awesome. I'm very, very excited for that. Uh, update GSR or higher ticket. What is this? What is this? 
I believe it's also for okay so this is also for the new animation celebration so there's gonna be a GSSR ticket and a GSSR ticket as well no news as right now um, as to how to obtain them but I'm sure I'll have more news for you guys in the near future and also just more information about World Tournament so it starts on the 24th of this month August 24th at 2 30 a.m. and it ends on the 27th so it's gonna be a three-day tournament and also the rewards you will get the hit for hitting top 20k. So it's, you, in the past, you used to 10k, and it was a lot harder to get the reward. But now, if you really want this hit, you, it's a lot easier for you to get the hit by just hitting top 20k ranking in the tournament. Uh, personally, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm, I might just get my 30 million, my 20 wins, 20 win streak, and call it a day. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll do some streams of the World Tournament for you guys, and in that case, maybe I'll go a little bit higher and try to get the hit. I don't know, it doesn't matter, but this is all the information we currently have about Global's update coming tonight. Like I said, massive, massive news, a lot of new things coming, and uh, just so many things happening at once, guys. Like, the Global was dead for, for like a, a week, and now there's just so many things that can barely keep up with the news. <laughs> These videos are getting harder and harder to keep up with because there's just so much information coming out all at once. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the information. Hope you found this video useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like to see, and you want to see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.